British R&B trio Honeys were one of the most successful acts born out of the international girl group explosion of the 90s. Formed in 1997, the group then comprised of Heavenly Abdi, Naima Belchiati, and Selena Cherry released their hit debut single and debut album a year later. But as soon as things started to take off, they took an immediate nosedive when one member left, only to later come back, leave again, come back again, and leave again. And another member was even rumored to not have been able to sing at all, and was only in the group because of her looks. Originally a duo put together by their management company, Selena and Heavenly formed their group, then called Essence, in 1997. One night when the ladies were departing from a nightclub, a man exclaimed at them, mm-hmm, check out those honeys over there. And that was it. The duo suddenly had a new name. Also by the following year, Nema had joined the lineup transforming the duo into a trio. Mercury Records wanted to sign the group as soon as possible so that they could take on the American leading girl group, Destiny's Child. Honey's debut single, Finally Found, was released in the summer of 98 and peaked at number four on the UK singles chart. It remains their biggest hit to date. Several other singles, including End of the Line and Love for a Lifetime, also became top 10 hits. And the group's debut album, Wonder No. 8, went gold and propelled the trio to get signed in the US to Def Jam. Then, the bottom fell out. In early 1999, Heavenly decided to leave the group for what she would later describe as personal reasons, including being under immense pressure and missing home, even though the press made it about her wanting to spend more time with her boyfriend, British actor Matthew Marsden. As a result, Honeys got dropped by Def Jam, leaving Selena and Nema hanging. That is, until a new member came on the scene. The gap left by Heavenly's departure opened an opportunity for a former member of girl group Solid Harmony, Mariama Goodman. The group's fourth single, Never Let You Down, released in September 1999, was a new track recorded for inclusion on a repackaged version of their debut album. It would also be the first single to feature Mariama's vocals. By the summer of 2000, the trio was already hard at work on their follow-up album. However, it was during the lead-up to the release that Mariama would announce her departure from Honey's. The way she tells it, it had everything to do with all the difficulties associated with being the new kid on the block in an already established group. She apparently also outed Nema as the one who really made the experience not so pleasant during a 2013 interview with British music channel The Vault. She recalled how difficult it had become to go to work every day, how she ultimately decided life was too short to not be happy, and knew leaving was the best thing. She also specifically named Selena as someone who she found, quote, lovely. So the only person left in the mix was Nema. No doubt another incident involving Nema flirting and making moves on Mariama's boyfriend during a video shoot contributed to further driving a wedge between the two women. Now, Selena and Nema were faced with an uncertain future. They needed a replacement, so their management made the decision to bring Heavenly back. The following year, the group released the track, I Don't Know. Unfortunately, with minimal exposure and promotion, the song didn't chart as high as their previous singles. Just a few short months later, Mercury Records decided to drop Honeys, and plans for the release of the group's second album were cancelled. Following this and a departure from their management, the group made the decision to go their separate ways. Selena told the national student, There was no point in us staying together. We had got to the point where we couldn't stand each other and the label decided to drop us because we just weren't strong. We needed a break. The original Honey's lineup briefly reformed to appear on the ITV show Hit Me Baby One More Time in 2005, before they officially returned the next year for a tour. Despite the 2005 appearance, Nema didn't want to return because she was focused on an acting career and was replaced by Selena's sister, Candace. Also at this time, Selena released her first solo album. Another swap out of a new member to replace an old member happened again when Heavenly left the band for the second time in 2006 and was once again replaced by Mariama. The group continued to perform together for the next three years. Despite Selena insisting in a 2009 interview with Digital Spy that there was zero chance of Honeys ever getting back together, it was confirmed in late 2012 that Honeys, along with Atomic Kitten, Liberty X, Bewitched, Five, and 911 would in fact be reuniting for the ITV2 reality documentary series The Big Reunion taking place the following year. 
This was the first time Heavenly and Mariama would appear in the same lineup. Nema decided not to take part. It was rumored that Heavenly and Mariama would both have refused to take part if Nema was brought in, but the group later revealed during their appearance on the vault that she'd been approached to join the reunion, but she had other things going on in her life that made it impossible for her to participate. During the episode that Hanis was featured in, Selena, Heavenly, and Mariama all discussed their time in the group, as well as the reasons for their many lineup changes. The episode ended with an emotional reunion between Heavenly and Selena, who hadn't spoken since Heavenly left the group for the second time in 2006. One of the highlights from the reunion showed the two crying and hugging each other. Selena explained, That whole moment was really sudden. I just hated her so much for what she did. She just went and she didn't even apologize. She still hasn't really. She has only apologized for upsetting me. But it was good we had that talk because now we seem to be okay. As it turns out, Selena had a right to be upset since Heavenly, admitting to Digital Spy, made the decision to leave solely based on her own feelings about what was going on between her and her group members. I didn't think of Selena. I didn't think of Nema. I didn't think of the management of the record company or how much money they were plowing into this. I have to admit, I was just thinking of me in those split seconds. It was also revealed that contrary to press reports at the time, Heavenly was brought back into the group following Mariyama's departure at the insistence of the group's management and against the wishes of both Selena and Nema. Heavenly, it seems, wasn't too keen on how she was portrayed on the show, according to some tweets she posted, accusing the people behind the scenes of painting her as the villain and Selena as the victim. The group also did an interview for the Huffington Post, speaking about just how differently they were doing things this time around with three singers in the band. Selena spoke candidly, saying, It was always difficult for a group like ours, being Black, being R&B. People expected us to be able to perform a cappella. They didn't think we were fabricated bubblegum pop. They assumed everybody could sing, and that wasn't the case. So it was almost like living a lie for a very long time, trying to cover things up. But weren't there always three singers? Well, not exactly. Apparently, Nema couldn't sing, and at least according to Heavenly, who didn't hold back about the issue in their big reunion episode, the only reason she was in the group was because of her looks. We had an ambition to go forth and, and be a great vocal group. And it kept, became apparent that Neymar is as devastatingly beautiful as she was and very sexy. Vocal-wise, wasn't there on the map, really. I'm excited about this lineup purely for the fact that the three of us can sing and that I can stand on stage and feel proud about what I'm a part of and not stand on stage and know that there's one person's mic switched off at the end. Following another interview, the group confirmed that they were planning to record new material in the near future. But Honeys wouldn't be Honeys without at least one more member musical chairs moment. In July, they announced that Heavenly, for a third time, had decided to quit the group, leaving Selena and Mariama to continue as a duo for the next couple of years. It's difficult to pin down the exact reason this time around why Heavenly left, but it wouldn't be far-fetched to assume that her rheumatoid arthritis diagnosis may have had something to do with it. During rehearsals, she was in a lot of discomfort. It was even difficult to pull her suitcase on and off the tour bus and into the room every night. Selena eventually went on to pursue an acting career, appearing in the soap operas Hollyoaks and Doctors. In 2018, she auditioned for the 12th series of Britain's Got Talent with her husband, Danny. Their audition ended up being shown on the spin-off show, Britain's Got More Talent. Selena's husband is also a Michael Jackson impersonator, and they performed together in tribute shows to the late King of Pop. Heavenly is the co-owner and co-director of the Algarve International School in Portugal, where she lives today. She's also a mother of four and a qualified aerobics instructor. When Mariama left Honeys, she knew she had to get a real job, but she felt working in an office wasn't an option for her, so she chose midwifery. She's also married and has two children. After the group split up, Nema appeared in a couple of motion picture films that were released in 2006. Today, she continues to keep a very low profile away from the spotlight and pressures of fame. Selena and Mariama reformed for a fourth time in 2019, touring as a duo. Beginning in September and continuing into October 2022, 
fans can catch Honeys live and on stage on the 90s Baby Pop UK tour, along with other acts, including Atomic Kitten, S Club, Five, and Liberty X. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and comment. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you won't miss any future videos. See you next time.